welcome back to Buona Papa. Today we're going to prepare together a super yummy fish recipe for our little ones. White fish, potato, olives, baby food. If your little one is into more texture food or if you want to serve this recipe to older kids, you can simply skip the final puree phase and serve the lovely baked fish to your kids and to the rest of the family. Let's start together. First thing to do, I want to talk about olives. So olives, they are a lovely baby and toddler ingredients. They are a fruit, so they are not vegetables or nuts. They are fruit like peaches or apricots. The only difference is that they have way, 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 way less natural sugar, as you can tell, and they have way, way more oil in it. That's why from olives you can make extra virgin oil of oil. <laughs> Which kind of olive I would suggest for a baby or for a kid? I really love the sweet ones, so the black sweet ones. My favorite variety is called Tajaske. They come from a northern region in Italy. As always for any other ingredient that you're going to give to your baby, taste, try the olives first. If you like them, if you think that they are sweet enough, then you can give them to your baby. <laughs> Let's start our recipe. First thing to do, peel our potato and thinly slice the potato. Dip it the olives peel the pear and cut it in pieces. We're going to take a baking sheet, place a parchment paper on top. We're going to place our potato slices at the base. Then we're going to put on top our fish filet and it can be any kind of white fish that you like. I really like Mahi Mahi from Hawaii or Halibut fish, it's lovely. Or even a white sole with a super delicate flavor will be perfect for your little ones. We're going to place our olives on top of the fish, place the pear cubes on the side and also we're going to season with thyme and bay leaves to give that extra touch of flavor and drizzle some extra virgin olive oil on top. Roast the fish at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Now we have a few options. So remove the herbs, the thyme and the bay leaves. And then you can, for older kids, or if you're using a baby let weaning approach, simply chop in big chunks the food and serve it like that. Or place the food in a food blender or in a tall container if you're using an immersion blender. Add some tin in liquid, it can be breast milk or baby formula, simply hot water and blend in order to create a nice and smooth puree. You can store the fish baby puree in the refrigerator in an airtight container for up to two days or you can store it in the freezer for up to three, four months. Remember, you know the perfect consistency, the perfect texture for your little one. And if you want to know something more about baby food texture and consistency, you might be interested in checking this video too. As I said at the beginning, this recipe is not only a baby one, it's a family one. All depends the kind of texture that you want to have. I really, really hope your whole family is going to enjoy this recipe. If you're looking for a similar one, check the links in the area here below. Remember, subscribe to Bonapapa, it's totally free, and you're going to receive every single week a new recipe from me. Ciao, ciao, ciao.